Hi, my name is Laura Keegan, and I'm one of the founders from the organization Own the Boards. Um, bringing you today a poem that I have spent a little bit of time putting to memory. Um, it's going to be Percy Shelley's poem Osmandius that was written in 1818. A uh, little bit of background just for sort of why I'm doing this. Uh, first of all, Poetry Month, the National Poetry Month is all of April, so we're almost to the end of that. Um, and then this is, I guess, my offering to Own the Boards' uh, recitation challenge for this year. This is something we're going to do in the future. If you are not familiar with Own the Boards, um, the link is below. It's owntheboards.org. We are an organization that is dedicated to, I guess, making literature um, a part of our everyday lives, giving it the time um, that it deserves. Um, and one of the things that we really advocate for is putting to memory those pieces that have meant something to us um, or that have made an impact somehow. Um, and that when you do that, the act of memorizing and the act of sharing gives you a sort of ownership over the content um, and that ultimately these pieces and this can be you know this is a poetry challenge um, but for on the boards it can be it could be anything um, anything that has meant something to you poem um, prose section part of a novel uh, sacred text anything like that um, so <laughs> This is uh, my specific poetry offering for National Poetry Month. Um, and I guess here it goes. We'll see how many takes this takes me. Uh, I will say I am, I am not a performer. I am not a speaker. Uh, reciting things in front of the camera is not something that comes naturally to me or that I would want uh, or feel comfortable doing in everyday life, but I'm doing it because I think that it's worthwhile. And uh, so the, the reason that I picked Osmandius, and this is again Percy Shelley's poem Osmandius, um, he wrote it in 1818. Uh, it's a sonnet, and the reason that I chose it is because it's one that I think really resonates with modern readers, and especially in, in the classes that I've taught and with my students. Um, you know, it's about this guy who is telling us the story of someone from an antique land coming and telling him about this statue that was built uh, by Osmandius, who was all about his great accomplishments. Um, and of course in this story, in this poem, we hear that it's, it's nothing, it's just a colossal wreck now. There are just pieces of it. Um, and, you know, I think it makes interesting commentary on hubris and on uh, people who think that they are powerful and who are really going to take over things and ultimately what do we have left of that. Um, okay, so here goes. Uh, this is Percy Shelley's Osmandius. We will see. Okay. I met a traveler from an antique land who said, Two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them, on the sand, half sunk a shattered visage lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculptor well those passions read. What yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things, the hand that mocked them and the heart that fed. And on the pedestal, these words appear. My name is Osmandius, king of kings. Look upon my works, ye mighty, and despair. Nothing beside remains. Round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone level sands stretch far away. Done. Okay. Um, Again, links are below if you're not familiar with Own the Boards. Uh, you still have two days left in April for National Poetry Month to put up your video. So I'll put a link there as well. Uh, I guess enjoy your day. Thank you.